Hi everyone, this is a test to section 3. So we're going to finish right from 14 to 20 in this video. So take a look at the questions. We have a complex number equations. You know that real number equals real imaginary equals imaginary. So you can say over here 2a equals to b, that is real. 4a plus 2 is imaginary. Another negative 10 is imaginary part. So from here, we can find the value of B. From here, 2A is 4 times to both sides. It's going to be 2B, right? That is 4 is 2B over here. That is 2B plus 2 equals negative 10. 2B is now negative 12 divided by 2. Negative 6 is the answer, okay? All right, number 15. Okay, the guys try to compute the average over here is 10 math squares. The total is S is over here, okay? So, the average should be, looks like this one, S over 10. That's right. But by accident, he divided by number 8. This is the result, the wrong result. This is the wrong one, okay? This is the wrong calculation. But this is a 5 more than it should have. It should have this one, S over 10, okay? 5 more. Okay, that's the equation. From here, we can find the value of s. Okay, but we don't have to. Just y, which one is equivalent to this equation. Okay, we are equivalent to this equation. Move to the left, that is a negative s over 10, right? Choice C is the answer. All right, move on number 16. We have a line m has slope is one third. This one is slope is one third. So we're going to find the area of this one. Quite a letter, okay? Maybe you can divide this one into two. One is a triangle, the other is a rectangle. That is, I think, easiest way. Or you can use right, uh, the trapezoid formula, right? Base one, base two times this is the height. Now I'm going to do this way, okay? So, one third, this is 12. Slope is one third, is 12 times one third, this is four, okay? Because four over three is one third. So using these two numbers, we can find the error of this one. 4 times 12 and divided by 2 is 24. The other side of here, this is a 5, right? Because we have y intercept is a 5. And this side is still 12 there. So 5 times 12 is what? 60. Some of these two areas, 84, is the area of that trapezoid, which is a quadrilateral. Uh, number 17, Korean and Peter both went to buy a new smartphones. Okay, so Korean has already $100 and he's gonna pay $5 per week. The number of right, the week is the W. Okay, always this is rate. Okay, always comes with that, comes with what variable. Okay, and the Peter is $25 already, so he's gonna save $8 per week. Eight times W. But how many ways they are equal, same amount. Okay? So minus 5 minus 5 W over here, 3 W minus 25 and minus 25 equals 75. So W equals 25, right? In 5, 25 weeks, they have the same amount. Now number 18, you can see the over here, the equation is true for all value of X, for all value of X. They are always equal, which is what? The equation is identical. Identical is for any value that they are equal, right? It looks like this one, 2x plus 1 equals 2x plus This is what? Normal expression, right? In general, right? it's the same expression. So you can see that for any value of x, they are always equal. But this is the zero over here. Why this is zero? Zero times x squared. Zero times x. And the constant also zero. That's what we all got the zero there, okay? So to be identical, okay, every coefficient or constant must be equal. This is coefficient of x squared must be zero. So a equals eight. B equals what? Coefficient of x, zero, five. This is a constant should be equal to zero. C plus two equals zero. C must be negative two, okay? Sum of all these three numbers, 13 minus two is what? 11 is this, okay? Now the circle with central angles is pi over pi. This is a radian. 
Okay, in this region, the R curling is given. That is a three pi. Okay, that's the formula, right? R times the angle in radian equals to what? The length of this R curling S. Okay, you can use this formula. So R times pi over five equals to three pi. Okay, pi is out. So times five for both sides. So R equals fifteen is there? Okay. All right, number nine twenty. We have some information. There are total of seventy students. Four or seven boys. The other one is girls, and uh, older than ten years, younger ten years, two to three. Give us so. This is actually classified uh, a group into two different races: boy or girls, or ten year younger, ten year old. Okay, so you can better make right two way frequency table. Okay, this is boy or girls. This is a uh, old ten, younger ten. Okay, so total is seventy. Four out of seventy is forty. They are boys. This is forty, right? All together, right? Old and younger. And what about girls? Seventy minus forty is thirty. But The first expression uh, constraint over here. Old to younger is two to three. Okay, boy, girls all together, right? That is two to three. Okay, that is two k. I'm going to get better. Two k. That is three k. That is two to three, right? But anyway, total is seventy students. From here, we can find the value of k. Five k equals seventy. K equals fourteen. So this number fourteen there. This is a twenty eight student old, forty two student younger. So we have another one here. We have another constraint there. Two over three of boy of girls is what younger one. Okay. So thirty times two over three, twenty. They are younger, right? So twenty is over here. So how many boys are ten years old? We're gonna find these numbers from here, right? Thirty minus twenty is ten. So twenty-eight minus ten is what? Eighteen. That's the answer. Okay. So eighteen is the answer. Okay. Okay. That's all today. Uh, I'll see you next video. Okay.